Hello friends, I am Anaka Sabu, first MSc Biology, St. Mary's College, Thrissur. My topic is Unusual Properties of Water. Unusual Properties of Water Water is polar. Water molecules are polar with partial positive charges on the hydrogen, a partial negative charges on the oxygen and a bent overall structure. This is because oxygen is more electronegative, meaning that it is better than hydrogen at attracting electron. 2. Water is excellent solvent. Water has unique ability to dissolve many polar and ionic substances. This is most important to all living things because as water travels through the water cycle, it takes many valuable nutrients along with it. 3. Water has a high heat capacity. It takes a lot of energy to raise the temperature of a certain amount of water by a degree. So water helps with regulating temperature in the environment. For example, this property allows the temperature of water in a pond to stay relatively constant from day to night, regardless of the changing atmospheric temperature. For water has a high heat of vaporization. Humans and other animals that sweat use water's high heat of vaporization to cool off. Water is converted from its liquid form to steam when the beat of evaporization is reached. Since sweat is made mostly of water, the evaporating water absorbs excess body heat which is released into the atmosphere. This is known as evaporating cooling. Water has cohesive and adhesive properties. Water molecules have strong cohesive forces due to their ability to form hydrogen bonds with one another. Cohesive forces are responsible for surface tension. The tendency of a liquid surface to resist rupture when placed under tension or stress. Water also has the adhesive property that allow it to stick the substance other than itself. These cohesive and adhesive properties are essential for fluid transport in many forms of life. For example, they allow nutrients to be transported to the top of a tree against the force of gravity. 6. Water is less dense as a solid than as, as a liquid. As water freezes, the molecules form a crystalline structure that spaces the molecule further apart than it liquid form water. The mean, this means the ice is less than dense than a liquid water which is white float. The property is important as it keeps pond, lakes and oceans from freezing solid and allows life to continue to thrive under icy surface. Hydrophobic and hydrophilic. Water is a polar solvent. It readily so dissolves most biomolecules which are generally charged or polar compounds. Compounds that dissolve easily in water are hydrophilic. In Greek, water lavae, it means. In contrast, the nonpolar solvent such as chloroform and benzene are pure solvent of polar biomolecules but easily dissolve those that are hydrophobic nonpolar molecules such as lipids and waxes. Water dissolves salts such as NaCl by hydrating and stabilizing the Na and Cl. Cl ions, weakening the electrostatic interaction between them. The same factor applies to charged biomolecules. Water readily dissolves such compounds by replacing solute, solute hydrogen bonds with solute water hydrogen bonds, thus screening the electrostatic interaction between solute molecules. Amphibatic compounds containing regions that are polar and regions that are nonpolar. When an amphibatic compound is mixed with water, the polar hydrophilic region interacts favorably with the solvent and tends to dissolve but the nonpolar hydrophobic region tends to avoid contact with water these stable structures of amphipathic compounds in water are called micelles may containing hundreds of or thousands of molecules many biomolecules are amphipathic example proteins pigments certain vitamins and and the sterols and phospholipids of membrane all have polar and nonpolar surface region hydrophobic interaction the forces that hold the nonpolar region of the molecules together are called hydrophobic interactions nonpolar compounds self associate in an aqueous environment hydrophobic interactions among lipids and between lipids and proteins are the most important determinants of structure in biological membrane hydrophobic interactions between nonpolar amino acids also stabilize the three dimensional structure of proteins amphipathic molecules in aqueous solution derived from greek words amphi both philos friend thus the word itself meaning something like that likes or rather is friendly to both 
in chemistry it means a molecule that likes both water and oil the use of amphiphilic molecules creates the a means to dissolve water into oil and vice versa this is something necessary for many applicants some practical examples are milk mar margarine and digestion of fat and of course washing your dirty clothes what does an amphiphilic molecule look like it may be visualized like a tadpole having a water loving head and an oil loving oil loving tail basically a molecule which has dual polarity that is having both an hydrophilic group and a lyophilic group some other terms we generally use to describe those these, these molecules are soap detergent surfactant tensite etc criteria one head group must be hydrophilic enough second the hydrophobic part must be of right size carbon chain of eight or carbons but not too long either amphiphilic molecules like lipids spontaneously form a variety of structures when added to aqueous solution these structures are formed in ways that minimize contact between the hydrophobic lipid chains and the aqueous medium example when small amount of fatty acids are added to aqueous solution a monolayer is formed at the water edge polymorphic structures of amphiphilic molecules in aqueous solution micellase and bilase if we keep an adding on fatty acids to this aqueous solution the monolayer ceases to exist and a totally new shape attained by the fatty acids this is called as a micellae micellae these are formed when an amphibathic lipid in water positions its hydrophobic tail to center of lipid aggregation and their polar head groups facing outward the formation of micellae takes place only above a particular temperature as called a craft temperature and also have a particular concentration uh, called as critical micellae concentration below the cmc individual lipid molecule predominate bilayer bilayer consists of back to back arrangement of monolayer the non polar portions of the lipids face the middle of the bilayer with the polar head groups arrayed on the bilayer surface phospholipid bilayers form spontaneously and rapidly when they are added to the water and they are stable structures as opposed to micellaries which are small self limiting structures of a few hundred molecules bilayers may form over large areas as the exposure of the edges of the bilayer to the solvent is highly unfavorable extensive bilayer normally wrap around themselves and form closed vesicles the nature and integrity of these vesicle structures are independent on their lipid composition physiochemical studies with the substance in the laboratory reveals that they may exist as either unilamellar vesicle or multilamellar vesicles reference thank you